Hey everyone, I wanted to teach you a quick trick that you can do with ChatGPT. Um, it's pretty simple, but it's really cool. So I copied an email that I had that I was sending to my people um, for a week, and then I wanted to kind of replicate um, this one and do it again. So I pasted the email and then said, define as Nina's style. It then told me what it thinks my style is. The problem was it was thinking more about specifics of the content, not the style. So I corrected it and said, no, Nina's style is engaging, casual, and informative. Nina styles like talking to a friend. It says, yes, that's accurate. And then it added in relaxed and kind of made this my style. Now I tell him, yes, please use Nina's style. So that's the style we defined to write an email about moving to New Zealand. Then I include some stuff I want him to focus on. So those would be like headers like these ones up here. Then as you can see, it goes through. And I would say it's a bit formal at the top here with the hi there. I don't really do that. And then best. And so then all I'd have to do to change that is say, um, yes, but I end emails with cheers, Nina. And basically by doing this, you're training him to see what's above and then adjust. It takes a little bit of time because this is the free one. And of course, everyone's on it all the time. So be patient. Um, it's a bit like being back with AOL. So he's going to rewrite it and he's going to adjust the ending. I don't know that it's super necessary to adjust the ending like for this, but we can see that he's adjusting the content too to kind of reflect the fact that I end emails this way, which is a different tone of voice. And as he does this, he's gonna keep learning and adjusting to be more like me and like my style of talking. Now, because this is an email, you don't have to edit it, but I would edit it. I would always double check things. For example, it talks about trade me, which is a good one. Um, and real estate, real estate doesn't exist. It's realestate.co.nz. That's a very important change. Um, there's things like here with the visas, I would want more specific information. And you can see it's a little bit different from above. So I'm probably gonna Frankenstein the two together to see which ones I like best. Um, and I'm doing this, that way I can like link to different posts of mine throughout the middle because I have a lot on these places. And as, when that's flashing, it means he's still not done. So give him some time, he'll think about it. Um, you can press stop generating if you want him to finish. But this is basically a really easy way to adjust ChatGPT to give you an outcome that is your tone of voice. And so you can correct him and tell him to adjust as you go. You can define different things such as like um, whatever the style is you're gonna go for, whatever the topic is, like the topic is X, define topic as X. And then as you keep going, you can kind of autofill stuff. So you wanna make sure that he's giving um, good outputs, but here we can see he ended with the cheers, Nina. And that's my style, it's a bit more me. And even as I read this here, the inner bits are a bit shorter, but I think the intro is much more me. Cause like, I love using the word Kiwis. I just think it's super cute and it is epic. I mean, that they're called that. Um, then at the end we have some exclamation points. I do use a lot of exclamation points. And so this is a great way to give him your own content and he can kind of use that as a basis to go off of for the style. So this is just a quick tip for a way to use ChatGPT that's super easy and makes it sound a bit more like you. I would still definitely edit a tiny bit, um, but with emails, it's not like an SEO thing we have to care about. Um, but yeah, I hope you have fun playing around with this.